for Statfields and Methods and OOP. Are you down with OOP? Yeah, you know me. Let's keep programming and get started with it. Get started with it. All right, so continuing with our exploration of object-oriented programming, let's dive into static fields and methods. These concepts are crucial for understanding how to use class-level variables and functions. So first, what, is this, what are static fields? Static fields, also known as class variables, are variables that belong to the class itself, rather than any specific, rather than any specific instance of that class. This means you have a single copy. Only one copy of a static field exists regardless of how many instances of the class are created. Um, and shared data, all instances of the class share the same static fields, regardless of how many are created. So let's take a look at an example of static fields. So here we have uh, the class car. We have a static field, private static int number of, car, number of cars, and it's set equal to zero. Okay. Um, so here we have an instance field where we have a model. Uh, object that we're going to say is the variable model. It's private, so it's going to capture it. It's going to get a set So, what is this for? Well, the point of that is when you do your constructor, you give the type the model of your car. And notice that numbers of cars gets incremented. So, every time we use the constructor created to create a new car, number of cars is going to get incremented. So, we create a car, it becomes one. Create a car, it becomes two. Create a car, it becomes three. So, we can always keep track of how many cars we actually have. Okay? And so let's create a static method that allows us to be able to get the number of cars that we have. And then the display should be able to see you know, the model. Okay. So in this example, number of cars is a static field that keeps track of the total number of car instances created. This is actually a common practice with static fields. Um, so you can see the number of times the number of instances that have been created. Anyway, each time a new car object is instantiated, Number of cars is incremented. So what are static methods? So static methods belong to the class rather than the instance. So this means that class level methods, uh, they can be called on the class itself without needing an instance. You've seen examples of this in like the random class in the, um, oh, sorry, in the math class. Okay, so that's why we had to do math dot each of the methods because there was no instance in that class. Uh, class. Created. We're just using the methods that are already built into it. Okay. So, and this will allow you to have no access to instance fields or methods. Static methods cannot directly access instance fields or methods. Okay. Um, so, examples of static methods. So, we had in the car class, you saw, we see the get number of cars method uh, is a static method. Um, but let's see how you use it. So, here's how you use it. So, up here, we're going to create instances of the car. So we have car, car one. It's going to be a Toyota. Okay, car, car two. It's going to be a Honda. So let's get one over, over the ocean here. Um, and so we're going to display each car. So we'll see the car model is a Toyota. The car model is a Honda. 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 Uh, it's a Twister. Um, calling static method. So we're going to actually call that get number of cars thing. But notice how we have to do so. We have to use the car class, the car dot, and then put the method because it is a, it is a static method that is specific to that class, not instances of that class, okay? All righty then, let's give her an execution, shall we? All right, so we see the car model Toyota, we see the car model Honda, we see the number of cars we have, so we now or two, okay? All right, so, um, So in this example, we create two car objects, and we use the static method cars dot get number of cars to retrieve and print the total number of cars created. So why would you use static fields and methods? Again, it allows you to have shared data. Um, so when you need to share data among all instances of a class, like how many cars you got, um, static fields are the way to go. And utility methods. So static methods um, are great for utility or helper functions that don't require data from an instance. So such as mathematical calculations, factory methods, so anything that you don't actually need to have a object of that class created for. But it is something that is uh, that goes along with that. Okay. So some key points, static fields are shared across all instances and only one copy exists. Uh, static methods belong to the class and can be called without an instance. Okay. 
So let's, let's make it more relatable with another example involving a simple utility class for a mathematical operation. Now these already exist, but just, just to show you an example. So I'm creating a class um, called math utils. So we have in here we have a static method for addition. So it's going to call add. And notice it returns an integer. And it has two arguments. Um, or type integer, A and B. And literally, we're just returning A plus B. And uh, similarly, we have a static method that's going to return an integer. It's called subtract. So take the two arguments, uh, A and B, uh, type integer, A and B. And we're going to return this with three different constraints, so A minus B. Okay. Make that order, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so let's see how we would actually use this one. Shall we? Okay, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to get a song. The song, we're going to use our math utils class um, in the method, that's the static method that's in there called add. And we're going to give it the numbers 10 and 5 and see that we'll get the result of 15. And we're going to uh, do a difference. And we're going to use the math utils dot uh, subtract. So we're going to use the subtract static method. Just taking the 10 and 5, then we're going to subtract the 10 minus 5, and we get 5. So let's take a look here. Let's do this now. Yay, it works. Isn't that cool? So we can just put the class name and dot in the static method. And that way you can utilize the method however you want. So, so in this example, math utils contains static methods out of subtract. And these methods can be called directly on the class without needing any instance of the class. There's no new math utils that we um, created an object of and then use these methods. We should have used them. So the summary, static fields and methods play a crucial role in OOP, allowing class level data in operation. Um, and they help in creating shared resources and utility functions that don't depend on instant data. So remember, whether you're counting cars or adding numbers, static fields and methods keep things simple and efficient. So are you down with OOP? Yeah, you know me. We're getting static and making our code fantastic.